Welcome back to Tain's Lady Info. India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, is planned to be commissioned on September 2, 2022, and the next latest update on this particular ship is about the aircraft landing trial. As per the defense sources, it is said that the aircraft landing trials would begin by November 2022 tentatively once the official induction of this ship happens in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It is said that the induction of the vessel into the Indian Navy fleet will happen at a specially arranged venue inside the Cochin shipyard which manufactured the 20,000 crore warship. Once the aircraft carrier was handed over to the Indian Navy, it went through several sea trials and it is said that INS Vikrant is ready from the propulsion, equipment and weapons point of view. So what actually is this aircraft landing trial of INS Vikrant? Aircraft landing trials are all about checking the landing and takeoff capability of the aircrafts and helicopters which are going to operate aboard the aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. Since the length of the aircraft carrier is not going to be as lengthy as a normal landing strip, it is mandatory to do such trials just to ensure we don't have any accidents due to short runway. Not only that, even if the aircrafts take off and land successfully on the aircraft carrier, they would be put under trials to check the same capability while the aircraft carrier is on the move. These things are very vital for the Indian Navy to approve these fighters to operate on the aircraft carrier. For now, it is said that the Indian Navy might be operating the MiG-29K fighters of Russia until they decide on choosing either Rafael M or Boeing Super Hornet for their carrier-borne fighter program. The final decision on the number of fighters and which fighter it is going to seek through an intergovernmental agreement will be based on the trial report which are being currently examined. The count of carrier-borne fighter requests of the Indian Navy came down all the way from 57 to 36 and now it seems the Indian Navy might be going only for 26 fighters for their aircraft carrier. And they are going to wait for the twin-engine deck-based fighters which are manufactured indigenously by DRDO. Even though the Indian Navy will be operating the twin-engine deck-based fighters which is being developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation, either Rafael M or Super Hornet of Boeing are required immediately to fill in the depleting strength of the squadron due to lesser MiG-29K for both the aircraft carriers. Post-September 2, 2022, the Indian Navy would be operating two aircraft carriers which is INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant and now having only 42 MiG-29K fighters would not be sufficient. So deciding on the Rafael M or the Super Hornet by the Indian Navy is very mandatory. So let's wait for more updates on the Indian Navy side on this particular decision. For now, that was a small video to provide an update on the next plan of INS Vikrant after it gets commissioned into the Indian Navy fleet on September 2, 2022. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tain Slade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.